Hey everybody, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to make a bracelet today and I'm going to use some of the beads that came in the most recent Potomac Beads Treasure Edition subscription box. The one from May 2024. It's called Whispers of Antiquity. I'll put a link in the corner of this video and in the description box below to the unboxing video I did for this subscription in case you want to check it out where I go over everything that came in the box. I'll also put a link in the description box below to the page on the Potomac Beads website where you can go and sign up for the subscription if it's something that you're interested in. And here I have the 4mm check glass faceted rounds that came in the box. The color on these is Rosaline. And here I have the 6mm Potomac Pearls that came in the box. The color on these is Baby Pink. I've got some 11O and 15O Duracoat Galvanized Gold Miyuki Seed Beads I'm going to use. I've got these 8Os that came in, I believe these came in last month's Treasure Edition box. They're Miyuki 8O Seed Beads and they're called Duracoat Opaque Tea Rose. <coughs> Got a little clasp from my stash and a couple of jump rings and a couple of wire guardians. I think that's how I'm going to attach my clasp. I'm not entirely certain yet. <laughs> I might change my mind and sew it directly on. It just depends on how long it comes out when I'm done, I guess. <clears throat> I'm going to be using my 8-pound fire line in crystal, the white color. I've got a size 12 beading needle. I'll be using my scissors to cut my fire line and my thread burner to burn down the ends when I cut off the fire line and then I'll be using my chain nose pliers to flatten the thread to get it through the needle. I've already got my needle threaded and I'll be using my chain nose pliers and my bent chain nose pliers to put my clasp on uh, at the end if I if I end up putting it on that way. <laughs> if I don't end up sewing it straight uh, onto the bracelet. I think that's everything. I'll try to find links and put them in the description box below to everything I can find links for that didn't come in the box. So hold on, I'll get some of this out of the way and I'll be back. Okay, I've got my beads out of here now. I've got my 6mm beads, my 4mm beads, my 15 O's, my 8 O's, and my 11 O's. And I've, already, I've got my needle threaded and I've got a stop bead. And I'm leaving about a 12 inch tail to have enough to come back later and either sew on my wire guardian or my clasp directly to the bracelet since I've not decided yet how I'm going to do it. So I've got four of my six millimeter beads that I've already picked up. And I'm going to sew around all these again. But as I sew around them, I'm going to pick up an 11-0 and put, them, put an 11-0 between all of them. it tight so that I don't show a lot of thread I'm gonna go on into that 11 oh if I can It doesn't look like I can, so I'm just going to go through the pearl. Now I'm going to sew until I'm coming out this 11-0 opposite my stop bead. Now I'm pick up four 15-0s. and an 8-0 and four 15-0s. Now I'm coming out the top of that 11-0. I'm going to go to this opposite 11-0 and go in the bottom of it. Pull my little embellishment so that it lands over top of my unit that I just made. Now I'm going to tighten that up 
and I'm going to go back up these four 15 O's. The 8 O and the four 15 O's on the other side. Trying to get through all of them at once. You don't have to if you can't, but I'm trying to. Now I'm going to hold on to that so that it doesn't come loose and pull my thread through. And that puts that little embellishment over top of that little unit there. Now I started coming out the top of this uh, 11 -0. I'm going to go in the bottom of it. everything up and that's my first little unit there now I'm going to make what I call a double right angle weave unit I'm not sure that's really what it's called but that's what I've always called it so I'm pick up four of my 11 O's coming out the top of that 11 I'm going to go on the bottom of it now I'm going to flip it around here and I'm going to go up the first one of those 11 O's that I just put on Pick up an 11 0, go into the next 11 0. Pick up an 11 0, go into the next 11 0. Make sure that pops in there like it's supposed to. Pick up an 11 0, and I'm going to go into the next 11 0 and the connecting 11 0. Now I'm going to sew around until I'm coming out this 11 over here on the tip so I can make my next unit. Now I'm going to make a unit with my little 4 millimeter beads. So I'm going to pick up a Four millimeter and eleven O four millimeter and eleven O four millimeter and eleven O and a four millimeter. So I'm coming out the bottom of that eleven O, I'm gonna go in the top of it. And the reason I did, I picked up my 11 O's as I went this time instead of like in this unit, I did all my big beads and then put the 11 O's in between is because since these beads are bigger than these beads, if I picked up my 11 O's as I went, it would have made my box bigger. If I pick them up afterwards, it makes it not as big. If I pick these up as I go, it makes this box bigger and because these beads are smaller than these beads, I don't want there to be such a big difference in the size of the units. So if I pick up the 11 O's as I go, it'll make this box a little bit bigger than it normally would be if I didn't do that. And it won't be hardly as much of a size difference between these two boxes. I hope that makes sense, but <laughs> I don't know if it does or not. So now I'm going to sew around all these again. I'll go back, come back out this connecting 11 0 here. Now I'm going to go up this 4 millimeter bead, just the 4 millimeter bead. And I'm pick up three 11 O's. 
And I'm going to skip that 11 0 that's there and go into the next 4 millimeter bead. Now I'm going to go through this 11 0 and this 4 millimeter bead. I'm going to pick up three more 11 0s. I'm going to skip that 11 0 and go into the next 4 millimeter bead. And I'm going to go on into that connecting 11 0. And that's what that unit's going to look like. Now I'm going to sew around until I'm coming out this 11 0 here so I can make my next unit. I'm going to go into this 4 millimeter. And these two 11 0's. This 11 0 and this 4 millimeter. And come out this 11 0 here at the tip. Now I'm going to do another unit with my six millimeter beads. I'm going to pick up four of my six millimeter beads without any 11 O's between because I don't want this to be a huge unit in relation to the unit with the four millimeter beads. These little pearls have tiny little holes. Sometimes it takes a minute to get them picked up. Now I'm coming out the top of that 11. I'm going to go on the bottom of it. No, that's not right. <laughs> I forgot. Take this back out. I forgot. I'm going to make a little double right angle weave unit to go between my little boxes. And I forgot about that. Double right angle weave unit. So I'm pick up four of my 11 O's. Coming out of the top of that 11 O, I'm going to go on the bottom of it. I'm going to go up the first 11 O that I just put on. Up an 11 0, go into the next 11 0, pick up an 11 0, <clears throat> go into the next 11 0, pick up an 11 0, go into the next 11 0, and the connecting 11 0. not wanting to go in that 11 oh, it must have a lot of thread in it I didn't think it did but okay there we go now I'm going to sew up here to the tip to make my next little box Now I'm going to make my next unit with my six millimeter beads. I'll pick up four of my six millimeter beads. Come out 
coming out of the bottom of that 11. Now I'm going to go on the top of it. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> I'm gonna go around all of this again to tighten it up before I put my eleven O's in there. And now I'm going to go around and put 11 O's between all of my pearls. Go into that connecting 11 O. Now I'm going to sew up here until I'm coming out this 11 hole on this side. You'd think I'd be far enough away from my tail thread I wouldn't be getting caught in it by now, but apparently I'm not. I keep getting caught in it. Now I'm going to come out this 11 over here. I'm going to pick up four 15 O's. And eight O, four 15 O's. Coming out the top of this 11 O, I'm going to go over here and go in the bottom of this 11 O. Make sure my embellishment's landing on the same side as this first one I did. Now I'm going to go back up these four 15 O's, the 8 O, and the four 15 O's on the other side. Hold my finger over it, pull my thread through. Now I started coming out the top of this 11. I'm going to go on the bottom of it. Now I'm going to make another double right angle weave unit. So I'm going to pick up four 11 O's. Coming out of the top of that 11. I'm going to go on the bottom. I'm going to go up the first. 11 that I just put on. Pick up an 11 0. Go into the next 11 0. Pick up an 11 0. Go into the next 11 0. Pick up an 11 0. Make sure that one pops in there. It doesn't want to sometimes. Pick up an 11 0, go into the next 11 0, and the connecting 11 0. Now I'm going to sew till I'm coming out the tip here so I can make my next unit. Now I'm going to make another unit like this unit, and then I'll do the rest of it off camera. So I'm going to pick up a 4mm, an 11 0 4mm, an 11 0 4mm. An 11 0 
a four millimeter. Coming out the bottom of that 11, I'm gonna go on the top of it. I'm gonna sew around all these again. So into this four millimeter and just the four millimeter. I'm going to pick up three eleven O's. I'm going to skip over that eleven O there between those four millimeters and go into the next four millimeter. Now I'm going to go through this eleven O and this four millimeter. I'm going to pick up three more 11 O's. And I'm going to skip that 11 O and go into that 4 millimeter. And that connecting 11 O. I'm going to go around, so around till I'm coming out this 11 over here. Now I'm going to make another one of my little double right angle weave units. And I'm just going to alternate like that between these units until I get the length that I want. And when I'm done, I'll come back and we'll saw on one side of the, either the wire guardian or the clasp, whichever I decide to do. So <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I've got the length that I want now. Actually, it's a little bit longer than I meant for it to be. It's uh, almost six and three quarters inches. So I'm going to just sew my clasp directly onto it without using the wire guardian. So, I'm coming out of this 11 0 here where I made my last unit. I'm going to pick up an 11 0 and 8 0 in my toggle. I'm going to go down, back down my 8 0. up another 11-0 and I'm going to go in the other side of this 11-0 from the one I started in. Now I'm going to go back around all this again. Up this 11-0, the 8-0, back into the toggle down into the 8-0, 11 -0. back into this 11 -0. Now I'm going to go around all that one more time and then I'm going to go down through here and tie three half inch knots and end off my thread and then I'm going to sew the other side of the toggle on just like this one except I'll probably put two 8 -0s here instead of one so that my bar will have enough room to go through my toggle ring. So when I get all that done, I'll be back. Okay, there's my little bracelet all done, made with some of the beads from the latest Potomac Beads Treasure Edition subscription box called Whispers of Antiquity. Uh, I did end up putting two ados on this end here where I put my toggle bar so that it would have enough room to go through the ring. I, th I don't think it would have if I had just put one. Uh, this came out to be almost 8 inches, so if you wanted a smaller bracelet, you probably would want to leave off a unit or something. Uh, you 
can maybe start with one of these little units and end with one of these units and if it wasn't long enough you could put a lobster clasp and an extender chain on it or just ever how you want to do it uh, like I said I'll leave a link in the description box below to the page on the Potomac Beads website uh, where you would sign up for the subscription if it's something that you're interested in I hope you all have enjoyed this video as always thank you so much for joining me today I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos I have a website where I sell my jewelry I also sell gift cards and some extra beads and findings that I have it's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested along with a link to my Facebook Instagram Pinterest and my email if you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.